Hi everyone, Sully here from Black Ops Toys. Thank you for uh, subscribing on Patreon, first off. Second off, this is the snowman build, my wife has called it. Um, we are going to be doing today a build on the Soldier Story SS Space 109. This is the NSW Navy SEALs Winter Warfare unit. Um, lots of kit on this figure. This is uh, something that's probably about, I would say three, three to four years old. And Soldier Story is a fantastic company. I'm very happy with everything that they've done pretty much. Um, but they release military figures and they release some newer style like video game figures that are coming out and stuff like that. But this right here is going to be a winter warfare sniper. So to get started, what we're gonna do, this is how the figure pretty much comes in the box. I've taken everything and laid it out. Um, the first thing that I'm gonna do on this figure is look at the stock shots. And I'm going to see kind of what I want to do it, uh, do to it and see kind of which direction I'm going to go as far as like, am I going to use the whole uniform and I'm going to, am I going to use every piece that came with it? That type of deal, but kind of just get an idea of what we're going to do. So I'm going to first put on this snowsuit onto this dressed body. Okay. Now the one thing that I'm a tiny, tiny bit worried about is there's so many layers and we want it to be able to you want to be able to pose him still. So there's a lot of layers. And what I'm kind of worried about is there's a t-shirt and there's a jacket and there's another jacket. How much movement am I going to get with this? So I'm going to attempt to put this on just like you would the real thing. And we're going to put this shell over the PCU set. So, all right, first thing I'm going to do, take a look at the jacket. This is just like the real thing. It's going to be a winter shell. Lots of zippers, just like the real thing. And we're gonna to try to put it onto the figure. So I wanna kinda of see how much movement I have with the clothing. What I don't want is to put this all together and have to take it apart <laughs> again. So plenty of room there. Soldier Story bodies are on the thinner side. So they are a little bit more poseable than say a damn toys body or whatnot. Go ahead and throw this down and see how much room we're going to have. I want to make sure that I don't get anything bunched up in here and I want to make sure that I'm able to move the joints and stuff like that. So I think we're gonna be just fine. Able to pose that just fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw the uh, pants on now. These have socket type uh, with a foot inside. So what I'm gonna do is just pop this whole thing off. I'm not gonna grab uh, down here. I don't wanna rip any of these eyelets out. So I'm actually gonna just pop the whole foot off grab here and here and just use my thumb to pop it off like that. That'll make them much easier to attach. You don't have to retie them. That's the idea. So now we got some legs. Let's throw the shell on top. Everything is designed to be worn in layers. And that looks pretty good. You don't need any type of padding in here or anything extra. that foot back on. Pop that foot back on. If I have uh, some laces, 
hanging out. I'm just going to retuck those in the back of the boot. This is a figure that I've been wanting to do for a long time. My wife has been wanting me to do this one for a long time because she wants to see the ghillie suit. And so do I. <laughs> so we're going to attempt it. I'm just going to tuck everything that's hanging out. These are strings, drawstrings. I'm just going to tuck it all up here. That's looking good. So next, what I'm going to do, this thing came with gaiters and these are designed to keep the snow out of your boots. So there's a couple things. Um, you can do this two ways. You can put the gaiters on now and put them over the pants, or you can actually do it how they did it and put them on and then put the pants on or try to stretch that over the gaiter. And again, it's all personal preference. That's probably the way they would really want to do it, but I think I'm going to just slide them over the top here. See how that looks first. So, you can see how these little metal clasps here. I'm trying to figure out what that goes into. So it looks like we want the opening in the front. And this right here will come down underneath the heel like that. Let's attempt it anyway. Just verifying images. So the other thing that they have for the uh, foot are these treads. Yaks tracks. So these are designed to go over the boot. And again, this is the first time I'm doing this, so I'm doing it just how everybody else should do it. Look at the reference photos. But that should fit over the boot and hold this. So I think So if you look at the gator this comes underneath and then you have this little belt buckle type deal to weave it in and out of. So I think I'm going to go 
and put this on the opposite leg. That way I can buckle on the outside and work out here versus in here. Let's just double check and make sure they're not the same. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna do it that way. All right, so I'm gonna put the gator right here and do it just like it is on the stock shots. So that'll go like that. And then I'm gonna pull this pant over the, over the top of it. Much easier. Now it's got this metal hook right here and I don't know what that's for. I don't know if that's to hang it off your bag or if that actually does something, but essentially I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up right here and then I'm gonna come back through and throw that over the top. Got it to the wrong one. Damn it. All right. Can I turn the uh, light brighter? Mm-hmm. There, now I can see. That's better.
we're gonna leave that there. That looks pretty good. It's covering up the laces. Now I'm gonna see if I can pull this pant leg over. I can understand why you'd want to do this because then you don't get any snow inside the gator either there we go that looks good looks really good so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other one and then we'll be right back all right so I got this side set up uh, you saw me do this side and then come across this thing right here and you can see this is for traction in the snow and ice. It's essentially, uh, this is actually metal and then this is uh, PVC. But essentially it just goes over the boot and then I figured out what this little tiny hook thing is. And you can see what I've done here. Holds that gator down and then holds this up. So I don't know if that's what it's for, but that's what I'm guessing. So that's where I'm gonna leave it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Essentially, this right here is your front. This goes over the toe of the boot and hooks into that hook. And this right here is pliable. I'm just gonna literally put the toe box, go underneath the strap. Just gonna pull that down. Throw that to the toe box. It should snap right in. Super cool, I mean super, super detailed. And then I'm gonna take this and connect it here. It's just on elastic. There you go, that's on. And then this right here has a little piece of hook and loop. That just comes back over here. It sticks down. I don't know how well that's gonna hold because it is so small, but it should do the trick. And then I have a little bit of excess here. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that up a little bit and then throw the excess underneath the pant. Cool. All right, so we're almost done with the body. I'm gonna do the hands next. And again, you could do, you know, you could do the figure without the graders. You could do the figure in the PCU suit. You could do the PCU suit bottom and then the, the white top. So there's, you can make four or five different variations of the same figure with the gear that you get. So that's kind of cool. I'm gonna take that and that. So this is just a X-Acto knife. This right here, wire cutters. And I'm gonna go ahead and part these fingers, okay? These hands are nice, they're pliable. Um, sometimes you run into hands that are not pliable, but you want pliable so you're able to grip weapons and stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the fingers apart so you can see how they come molded all together. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them apart. So find the groove and just kind of snip down. Find the groove, check both sides. You don't have to cut them all the way down, but I just do enough so that if I put a weapon or something in his hand, he's able to move those fingers more freely. And then if you have excess, you can see right there, that's excess. I'm gonna go ahead and just take my knife. Actually, just cut that off right here. There we go. 
that's what we're looking for. So easy to do. Be careful if you do this and then you're going like that. I cut myself several times, that's why I use these. That sound is very satisfying. guys pop off you can also pop the peg out looks like a little nipple uh, most hands that you get in one six scale have a rear end like that and then have a connector similar to that on multiple brands so pops in pops out Love this head sculpt. Super cool. So, next thing I'm going to do, and that'll finish off this video, is I'm going to do the plate carrier. And it comes with something like this. It's a little slick plate carrier. It's got the nice frog on it. Um, you can put plates in it. Uh, but I want more pliability probably, and because he's so thick this way already, I'm gonna go ahead and keep the plates out. However, I am going to throw a quarter in, and that just helps it hang, because it's got some weight to it. Flip that under, that's tight. Drop it. And see it's got hook and loop right there. I'm just going to turn that in. Fold it down. I'm going to throw this over the top. That's kind of what we're looking for. Bam, not too bad, not too bad. So that's a good start. If you like this video, make sure that you like, subscribe, share, and, and follow us on Patreon. <laughs> Patreon first, uh, YouTube second, typically 30 to 60 days after, sometimes longer. Um, but stay tuned for more exciting content like this guy.